Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how we can search, we can filter our search on Google Scholar with the results from a specific journal database. I'll show you what I mean. For example, um, you can see I am searching for the term extensive reading and the results turn out to be from different database. For example, this one is from Simonist Scholar. Right, this one is from Eric. Um, this one is from Academic. Uh, this is from Oxford University. Um, this is from SafePub and so on. All right. Now we can search for teacher education. You will see better what I mean. So this is from SafePub. This say I'm looking for yeah here. You see this is from elsewhere. Alright, so this is a different general database. Now I want my results only from this from this general database, from only from elsewhere. Okay. So the elsewhere actually is the the name of the website is Sign Direct. This is very popular website for journal papers so what we can do is we can just set type so here you can see this is the full website track but we don't want to type in the full we just want to take the sign there right come here and put it in here okay and you will see all of my results will be from this L5 alright alright as well. very simple but very interesting okay um, similarly you can just choose another database for example the next one is Taylor and Francis we just replay this one with the Taylor and Francis .com. and now we have all of the you know all of the results or filter only from the Taylor and Francis publication. This is to me very interesting and I think it, it may be useful to you. Um, the same thing is for this is the PubMed. The PubMed is mostly the database for medical research. Um, but the same thing we can just copy this uh, URL, put it in here and there we go. And you see the result only from this database okay this may be useful for example if you like to target specific journal database for medical journal papers only or something and this technique will be something very interesting to your work well that's it for today thank you very much for your watching see you next time